Hi, if you're looking for information about the injective protocol, you are fortunate. You are on the right video. It is a fully decentralized second tier exchange platform for derivatives trading. We have collected a lot of interesting information about this cryptocurrency, the history of its creation, how it works and how millions of dollars are made with it. Without taking a lot of your time, we will quickly tell you many valuable facts about Injective Protocol. Stay tuned, we're getting started. New blockchain projects come and go, but the test network launch for Injective Protocol has caused quite a stir in the blockchain community. The project's potential to change the decentralized exchanges and cryptocurrency trading landscape has generated a massive amount of speculative content over the past few months. Injective Protocol is being built as a fully decentralized derivatives exchange. The project aims to bridge the differences between centralized and decentralized exchanges and create a thriving ecosystem of decentralized finance. DAX was seen as a logical solution to the security and regulatory issues affecting CEX, but the introduction of DAX faces its obstacles. While Injective Protocol creates a decentralized platform, it is different from what most people think of as a decentralized financial platform. It hopes to provide advanced functionality to improve the DeFi ecosystem significantly. As just one example, it can provide liquidity equal to that of CEX. The Injective Protocol is a universal decentralized financing protocol for cross-network derivatives trading across multiple financial products such as perpetual swaps, futures and spot trading. Injective Chain is implemented as a Cosmos SDK module built with Ethermint. It uses standard mean-based proof-of-stake to facilitate chain-to-chain -chain derivatives trading across Cosmos, Ethereum, and many other Layer 1 protocols. Injective Protocol is collision-resistant and uses a verifiable delay feature to prevent a forward move. INJ is the original Injective Protocol asset that is used for many different functions such as protocol management, capturing the number of exchange fees, providing derivative financial instruments, liquidity mining, and betting. The Injective platform allows users to participate in decentralized inter-network derivatives trading with zero gas fees, gain access to cross-chain yield generation for multiple assets, create and trade in any derivatives market with only a price, thereby opening up more trading opportunities in markets not available on other exchanges. Recent versions of DEX have innovations that make them as decentralized as possible. Injective Protocol is an excellent example of this, and the project uses some of the best features of decentralized finance to create a flexible and diverse platform. With a group of institutional-level market makers as partners, Injective Protocol provides users with better liquidity, faster execution, more market diversity, and no gas fees. These are just some of the things that make Injective Protocol stand out and have given in the name the first truly decentralized exchange. We can expect that the improvements made by Injective Protocol will forever change the face of decentralized finance and the way people trade. The infrastructure created with the Injective Chain allows various DeFi applications to be hosted. This includes an order execution environment, order matching technology, and the first fully decentralized order book. Together, these applications create a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer exchange, which is not a new development. Still, the tools added to the environment are what sets Injective Protocol apart from other decks. The consensus protocol is based on the Tender Mint based proof of stake protocol, which aids in cross-chain derivatives trading via Cosmos, Ethereum, and other Tier 1 protocols. This, of course, also allows for bid or delegation rewards. The exchange structure of the Injective Protocol makes it public, where a network of users can create customized and personalized derivatives markets. It also gives ownership to users, as INJ token holders will have a say and control over future exchanges and updates to the protocol. Injective Protocol is built on the Cosmos SDK with a token bridge between Cosmos and Ethereum and a feature set of interaction between blockchains. 
The exchange allows users to trade fully decentralized for the first time. The next generation of DAX is a step forward to fully interoperable and decentralized network. Because it is built on layer 2 infrastructure, the injective protocol promises lower costs and faster transaction speeds than existing DAXs. The protocol consists of several key innovations that set it apart from many existing DAXs. They are divided into four domains – Client, Service, Cosmos, and Ethereum. Together, these four form the core of the injective protocol platform. The primary function in the client domain is the injective exchange client. This is the user interface that will be presented to traders when using the exchange. This platform aspect has received a lot of attention, and the development team wanted to provide users with a user-friendly and comprehensive interface. The service layer is critical to Injective Protocol's performance as this is where the API and EVMs reside. The service layer also provides the nodes responsible for EVM connectivity, data layer processes, and transaction relaying. API node work to simplify transaction relaying and provide direct interaction. In addition to all this, nodes offer analytics and data processing services to the exchange client. Cosmos Area this is where the injective chain lives and thus is considered the backbone of the protocol. Injective chain provides the client exchange with an innovative decentralized order book, a transaction execution coordinator fighting pre-launch, and an EVM execution environment. INJ token performs many service functions, but its primary purpose is to use a control token for the injective protocol. This gives holders the right to propose changes to the protocol and vote to accept those changes. A second use of the token would be as collateral for credit platforms. ING tokens could also be used to post insurance premiums or provide collateral for passive interest income. In addition, the token would also be used as an incentive for relay node operators and market makers. In the created system, producers pay an exchange fee of 0.1% and takers pay 0.2%. This will allow producers to receive a net positive payout in the form of rebates, which will help stimulate the provision of liquidity. Once liquidity is in place, markets will have narrow spread and significant market depth. On top of that, nodes and validators will improve their API or interface to serve trades and be rewarded for doing so directly. The remaining exchange fees could be used to buy back tokens and burn them in a deflationary fashion, increasing the value of the remaining tokens by reducing supply. Thank you a lot for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos.